All right, Shalom. First off, I want to say our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Acha Kudash, double honor to our apostles, our elders at GMS, uh, to the elect doing work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, GMS precepts here. GMS precepts and Zar Chad here. And I got an article here um, from the Daily Star. This is a UK article. And it reads um, Bible prophecy is coming true. You see? And I've tried to make mention a few times that you've got people that don't believe in the scriptures, don't believe in the Bible. Um, you know, some people might even be atheists. They're going to get the feeling that things that are happening are, are biblical. All right. And this is proof right here. It says Bible prophecy is coming true. Now, I'm not sure if she believes. I don't know. This is from a podcaster, Christina Randall. I don't know if she even believes. I'm not sure. Regardless of the fact, even if she does believe, you're gonna have you're gonna have people that don't believe in the Bible that see certain things happening, and they're gonna attribute it to the scriptures or the Bible or or it being of the Most High. If there's like a certain catastrophe or whatever, they're gonna be like, man, this is of the most. This is of God. They might not see this is the Most High, right? And like, well, this is God. This is like, is the apocalypse or some or something to that effect, right? So it says, Bible prophecy is coming true, as claims billionaires build huge underground bunkers, right? Now, this is, uh, this nigga look nervous. This is uh, Mark Mark Zuckerberg. Um, I think he was, this might have been, this might be a recent picture of him being grilled by uh, the Senate or, or whatever. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure when this was taken, regardless. It says Facebook bo boss Mark Zuckerberg is the latest billionaire to build a bomb-proof bunker. As podcaster Christina Randall claimed, some of the world's richest appear to be fulfilling biblical prophecy. Now, why would he? Why would he? Um, why is he building a a bomb-proof bum bunker? You see, does he know something that the average person doesn't know? Right? And you got movies. A lot of these movies now. Are, that are coming out are like um, biblical apocalyptic ending type of movies, like like the old the ones I that's you know always ref reference um, that was recently I think it's still on Netflix, but it was it was uh, produced by the Obamas, you know, um, leave the world behind. They had a scene in there where they had a bunker, you know, a house had a bunker in a basement. So what are these well off rich, you know? billionaires what do they know that the average person doesn't know why would you spend millions it's going to go into how much you spend <clears throat> why would you spend millions of dollars on a bunker you see right it's saying mark Wal mark warburg uh, mark zuckerberg's bomb proof hawaii lair is completely self-sufficient right so let's read a bit a little bit of this right and it doesn't matter how many bunkers i'm gonna go to the precept i have um uh, so it says, some of the richest men on earth are building doomsday bunkers and a move that was predicted in the last and most dramatic book of the Bible, according to the leading, according to a leading podcaster. It has recently emerged that Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg, excuse me, Mark Zuckerberg, currently ranked fourth on Forbes Billionaire List, has spent $187 million dollars on a 1,600-acre patch of land in Hawaii, he is now reportedly building a luxury ranch, incorporating a 5,000-foot, 5,000-square-foot underground bunker, complete with its own energy and food supplies. Right. Read a little bit more. The bunker beneath Zuckerberg's ranch is expected to feature a giant metal door filled with concrete, a feature typical of nuclear shelters. So you see. When niggas, when you know they built shit like this, they actually think that's gonna help them. Oh no, no, no! Right? Christina thinks that the global elite know about some impending disaster. Yep, you damn right. The ones that are, the ones on the tippity top, but they think they can uh, outsmart the Most High. Man, that that impending disaster is their demise. Is is them being removed out of their rulership? You see. It's the Esau, the Edomites being taken out of their rulership. Job 9, 24. They've been given the keys and they're about to <laughs> they're, they're about to be evicted by the Most High. You see? 
they've been given that the uh, they've been allowed to rule for a certain amount of years, but that time of rulership is 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 uh is almost up, man. Okay, and you can't uh, you 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 can't uh, make a new lease. That lease is you are about to be permanently evicted, and the new tenants are about to occupy the kingdom, right? Or, or, or occupy that seat that you've been holding, you know. And that's the nation of Israel under Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. And that's that, right? Podcaster Randall claims Zuckerberg's bunker is just the latest of around 15 doomsday shelters being built by billionaires around the globe. It is definitely very interesting that they're choosing to build something that sounds like it could be fully self-sustaining, especially if something catastrophic happened, blah, blah, blah. Why not just build a regular old mansion or some kind of commercial facility that can generate Zuckerberg even more money? This is true. She stressed this building is definitely not cheap. It's estimated to cost over 270 And it looks like <clears throat> this is going to be the largest private personal construction project in human history. We're talking about over a quarter billion. That's a lot of money. Um, for blah, 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 blah. And all this is this other. I don't need to see all this other shit. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. But now, the, of course, a scripture that might come to a lot of brothers' mind is Amos. You see? Amos 9 and 1. It says, right? It's Amos, right? It says Amos nine and one. And look, look at the title here. It says God's or the uh, the Most High's or Yahweh's judgment is unavoidable. You see, so you got Edomites such as himself, and he's a peon. He's a he's low in a totem pole compared to his the real leaders. They think they can um, avoid their judgment, right? But guess what? Amos 9 and 1, it, it starts off, look at the preface, it's saying it, uh, the most High's judgment is unavoidable. So you can't avoid your judgment, Esau, you know? You know, your eviction is coming and you can't do nothing about it, okay? It says, I saw the Lord standing upon the altar and he said, smite the lintel at the door that the posts may shake and cut them and cut them in the head. All of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Right? So that's saying, listen, the door, or the lintel, that, re that represents uh, pillars. Right? So the Most High said, smite the pillars that the doors, the posts, may shake. Obviously, if they shake, they're going to fall. Right, all of them, and it says, um, and any, and I will slay the last of them with the sword that fleeth. Right, so it's saying, so as far as judgment, the Most High is going to cast down his judgment, and basically, there's not going to be anybody that's going to escape from it. Right, so you can build your bunkers, you can build your, um, you can go to uh, your space stations, you know. Like that movie uh, 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 Elysium, you know, you had the super rich, they fled to, uh, you know, that big sp space com uh, spaceship in space, you know, um, and, you know, they, 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 as like a safe haven, you know, it don't matter where you go, you're not going to escape judgment, your judgment is to be removed. And all of you were removed from uh, your 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 throne, and all of you Edomites are not going to be able, able to escape judgment. You know. It says, "Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down." Right. So it says, "Though you dig into hell, right? Though you dig into earth, you're not going to be able to escape. The Most High is still going to bring you down." Right, and he's gonna cart you in with in in, in uh, chains. Right, pursuing a what is that? Psalms one forty nine. There's no way to escape your judgment. Okay. Um, and, and and that goes for all nations. Let me let me not let me uh throw all nations up in the mix there. Right. Um, that that also goes for Jake, man. You Jake that thinks that you can buy your way into. You know, if you buddy, if you align yourself with Esau, okay, and try to do what he says, and he'll 
uh, save you or deliver you, that's not going to happen. Right? The most high is going to... The, the most high is going to get you two, you two thirds, you know, it says, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. Meaning what? There's not going to be one place on planet earth that you're, you're going to be able to escape. Okay. It says though they dig in a, it says though at the top of Carmel I'll take I'll take them out thence and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea and we know you know you can only go so far in the sea in the ocean before the pressure <clears throat> doesn't allow you to go any deeper right so basically you're trapped man there ain't no way you can go when uh it's like a a a, a cat that is um you know Cat, cats are good. They're known for getting rid of mice in an apartment or a house. If a cat's there, there's no way that rat or mice or, or mice can go, you know? They're like a damn Terminator, man. And that's what, you know, in the spirit, that's what the Most High is going to allow his, his son to be as well as his elect. We're going to be spiritual Terminators. And you are going to get, as well as the angels, the angels are going to get down too. Okay, and you will you will be removed from your seat. Okay, so it don't matter how much bunkers you might have or build. This dude's spending over two hundred. It says totaling. He's 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 building a bunker and then a ranch on top of it, totaling over a quarter of a billion dollars. All gone to waste. Oh well, this damn devil. He's probably doing something too. Um, it don't matter. Yeah, Jeff Bezos spent. Yeah, it says Zuckerberg is not the only one spending millions. Uh, on what appears to be a way out of the if the world ends, Jeff Bezos spent 147 million when he bought two mansions on Indian Creek Island in Florida, the, the smaller Hawaiian island of Lanai or Lanai, whatever, which is off the coast of Maui, is now almost complete, completely owned by Larry. I'm sorry, by billionaire Larry Ellison, New Zealand, in New Zealand, which is definitely considered to be. An ideal place to wait out the apocalypse is now full of bunkers for tech elitists. You see, so all these elitists, man, they're putting all their money. They see what's going on, man. They know something that the average peon doesn't know, right? But guess what? The elect know something that you damn elitists don't know. There's no escaping. Judgment from the Most High. Uh, that'd be the title. Uh, judgment from the Most High is unavoidable. You see? Alright, so I'll leave it at that. No one leave brothers just edified until the next show. Shalom.